Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be another episode of Divletheon. <sighs> yeah, well, if you think it's a god, you might be mistaken. It's no god. At least none of the good ones. I think it's just a bullshitty demon. Uh, which was false. Lin was definitely in the mood to talk. Let's see if the pro what happens to the brother. Then it's dragging a bit out, so... What can we? In fact, these are probably the most honest thoughts he has ever had, ever shared. Keeping to himself is what Anon had liked about Lin. But now she's... Now, now she sees his, his true colors for the first time, and boy, does she find them ugly. Yeah. Maybe you weren't all so incompetent. The Vlethion wouldn't be so focused on me. And maybe if it wasn't so focused on me, I'd be allowed to make some mistakes. Kind of like you. All you do is mumble about making one fuck up after another, but when I so much as slip, God remains punishment upon me. Lin, I'm sorry, but what? It's thanks to that I get to be, to better myself. I get to become what you should aim to be. I think we should end this conversation here. And I'm making you uncomfortable. Am I making you uncomfortable? I hope so. Yes. No, 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 it's just still have a lot to do before the ritual. A lying little shit. I see. Um, see you later? That's one bridge burnt right there. But it doesn't matter. Humans don't but Humans don't matter. Fuck humans. Lin needs none of them. Narrator is a bit harsh. Only the Valethion is worthy of his time. Rondo's mouth is still running a marathon. His captive audience looks less than thrilled. Oh, welcome back, Lin. Hello. We should decide who performs the ritual. Yes, have this... Have this conversation right in front of the very person you're about to kill. Nice. Me, right? Are you sure? I mean... Can you? Rondo, how many times do you think I've done this already? Um, plenty? And you still have to ask? <laughs> no, no, I mean, since it's Marrow, I thought it might haunt you. The only way it's going to haunt me is if, it, if, is if I let you do it. I can't believe how hard it is for you to kill someone. Do you miss the vital organs on purpose? Sheesh, kid. That was... A little uncalled for. I was just trying to be nice. Yes, very nice of you to offer to kill my brother. Thank you, Rando. Look here, I can appreciate you not feeling your best today, but don't take it out on your friends. You know my friend. Go on. Go bug off. Aiden is probably missing you right now. Yes, she probably is. I'm performing the ritual. Be my guest. Ah, sorry, you had to see that. Are you always like this at work? I don't want to talk about that. How are you? Can I get get you something? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Actually, no, I do know. You prefer vanilla? Wait, just a moment. Lin praise Maro a drink. Yeah, the drug. Maro realizes Lin pro probably has the keys. Maybe he could hit him in the head with a ball and make a run for it? Here. What is it? A drug. It's a drug. It'll make this easier for you. You mean easier for you? Mm, I'll be high out of my mind so you don't have to see me miserable. And you play the music so loud you can't hear me scream when you rip my heart out. Huh? Um, you have it all figured out. What? You know, I kind of expect this to happen sooner or later. Oh. Yeah, uh, doesn't surprise me at all. Though I'm still disappointed all the same. Then puts a drink on the table. Suppose it can wait a few more mo moments. I'm sorry, Mano. Oh yeah, you look really sorry. Not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I hope you, I hope you won't hold this against me. That'd be some feat considering I'll be dead. Maybe so. Still, if I could, i do things differently. So do it. Mm. Let's kill someone else instead. Well, you suddenly change your attitude. Shut up, listen. You can hide their faces and pretend it's me. That's not going to work. Why not? It's not like God knows what my heart tastes like. Just say you can't stand look at my face or something. No, I'm sorry. Come on, why not? I'm sorry. Why not? This need to happen, Maro. And while I'm torn about it, I real fucking torn. You smiling, Maro? This is what I do. I love you to bits, but I'm holy man first, and your brother is second. Huh, huh, huh. Holy man. Huh. You fancy yourself a saint. <laughs> no, I meant I've devoted myself to the valley. Freaking hell! Devletheon! Fuck you, Lin. Fuck you! Fuck you! Take your halo and choke on it. Maro takes a drink from the table and downs it in one go. Uh, no, it, I wasn't done talking. Huh. Oh, damn it, Maro. Lin tries to shake Maro out of it, but Maro's mind is already on a higher plane of existence. What a heartwarming sentiment to leave me with. Poor Maro. Come on then. Lin walks Maro out. They walk past the sac sacramental hall. That's right. Past it. Not in, not in it or to it, but past. And then continue all the way down the Blethian's altar. The one it uses to talk to the high priests. Hello. I told you I want the ritual done at midnight. Why is that here? The weapon. This is my most prized possession. Hmm? I want you to have it. That is very sweet of you, my pet. But you overlooked one thing. You can't give me something that has already mine. No, until midnight this is still mine. Bullshit, I've put claims on it. But you haven't claimed it him yet. Amazing, simply amazing. You've never been so annoyed and en ended at the same time. Huh? I'm giving you something very dear to me. If you don't like it, do what you will. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Though I'm still expecting a ritual tonight. Of course. Wouldn't it be fun to pick someone from the audience? <laughs> it would. A little surprise to shake things up. Fine, however it's your way. You can sacrifice your brother here in private. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Yes. Thank you, Devletheon. The benevolent, benevolent. It's not like I find the ritual of Crotis... Rotescu? But, except you do. Now hurry up before I change my mind, as you wish. I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out that, out what happens next. I don't have to spill it out, right? You you got it. You get it, right? Surely you know that Lin did the very thing he just announced he would do. If you figured he mostly murdered Maro. Congratulations. You're exactly right. He did it with a big, bright smile on his face, and his drugged out little brother screamed in pain, completely unable to understand what happened. Have you ever been high or in a state of an adrenaline rush? You're hyper focused on the very instant that is your existence in that moment, and that moment drags on for a small eternity. Now imagine if you will be in such a state and then having a heart gouged out. Truly Lin is an awful brother. The Lethion was pleased to have such a loyal little worshipper. The end. 
Eh? Okay. So... That was one ending? I don't understand. Okay. Let's see if I can find a different choice. So, let's try... See if we can get other ending. We picked it. That doesn't matter. No, we, we pick what's wrong. Let's take that doesn't matter. And skip. Uh, I'm not here for her, I'm here for you. So I showed here no passion. I just, this time I'm just gonna pick. I'm just saying nothing basically. Betray God. This is what I pressed before. Betray God, but it just didn't really help. Oh, now we got to, to the point where we have to go pack your things, huh? Those toothbrush things like that. What? What? Don't you understand? But uh, what? What in my backpack? Yes, quickly now. Mouse stumbles around the room, almost tripping over random core and. Those corpses. What am I doing? Are you throwing me out? What? Are you throwing me out because I didn't tell you about the mark? My god, no, we're leaving the village. Huh? The, the Valetheon gave me this necklace some time ago. He allowed me to wander around, uh, wander outside the village without being attacked by monsters. Huh? Then why haven't we left already? Don't be ridiculous. There was no need to leave. Yes, there was. There's a bloody monster living in a temple. Maro, Maro, shut up! The carcass in the room serves as a nice reminder not to an, not to anger when we have everything we could ever ask for in here. Honestly, I'm more than a little miffed we have to leave. Well, could just go my way. Uh, myself, huh? Uh, just get your things, we need to hurry. Meanwhile, Anon shows up at the work, but no one answers. Guys? Weird, are they both praying? She went around, but there is no sight of Rando or Lynn. Did they bail on me? I'm gonna have to tell Devuletheon we don't know who the sacrifice is. How about myself? She. She envisions the Vlethian's fury. Idiot! Moron! You pathetic piece of human filth! This bloody village has barely 400 people. How can you not find a one sacrifice? No. A lower level beast approaches her. Is something wrong? I can't find Rondo or Lynn. You don't need to worry about that. They went to pick up the sacrifice, I think. Rana said he found out who it was. I saw him leaving with Lin a while ago. Oh, who is the sacrifice? I don't know, I was just passing by. But I think Lin knew them though. He looks pretty down about it. This character didn't show up in last time. Lin did? Anon find that to be curious. She doesn't recall Lin ever tell feeling sad over any sacrifice. In fact, Anon found it creepy how little Lin seemed to care in general. Well, except when it came to... Ah... It's Maro. It has to be. Who? Lin's little brother. Ah, I hope everything's alright. When did they leave again? Yikes. Uh, not yikes. Like I said, it's been a while. Anon gets a bad feeling. It shouldn't take this long. Lin House is just around the corner. Oh. You got everything? Probably. Maro? Huh? Pull yourself together. I don't want people asking why you look like you have seen a ghost. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Everything's fine. Just leave it to me. Right. They leave home, leaving Randall's corpse to rot on the floor in the summer heat. Yeah, that's the stink of you days already. Doesn't matter. Lin knows people will figure out what he did. 
and he doesn't plan to stick around for the consequences anyway. The two of them make their way to the village's gate. People keep stopping in to say their hellos and ask about the coming ritual. Everyone wants to know who the sacrifice is. Lin just smiles and says he doesn't know yet. He exchanges pleasure, uh, pleasantries as if nothing is wrong. It makes Marrow really uncomfortable. Right as they are about to exit, a familiar face shows up. Uh, Anon, Lin. Oh, hello, Anon. You look worried. Is something wrong? Uh huh. Um, can't find Rando. And where are you going? Rando went to pick up sacrifice, I think. And I. It turns out we are low on mushrooms. I'm going to grab some. So we'll have enough for the ritual. What are you talking about? That's not your job. Send someone else. Mara said he knows a good spot nearby. We'll be right back. <sighs> Cut the shit, Lin. It's Marrow, isn't it? Lin doesn't answer. He bus he's busy calculating whether Anon would let them go. It seems unlikely. Don't do anything stupid, Lin. You of all people know how it is. Sorry. Sorry, my ass, you're such a hypocrite. How many little brothers did you kill already? But oh no, god forbid we sacrifice yours, Anon. I can see you're ups very upset. Um, <laughs> yes, I am upset. You're not this stupidly. This isn't even anything out there. You're running off to die. And you're leaving us to die too. Well, die, bye. Lin figures this conversation has run its course. Not to mention, Maro keeps fidgeting about as if he's expecting Lin to change his mind now. Lin turns around to open the gate, however Anon hadn't come alone. Next to her are some other priests Lin never bothered to get to know. One of them grabs Marrow by the collar of his shirt, and roughly on instant later two screams echoes across the area. The man is screaming because Lin is just stabbed him in the eye. But you get Marrow is screaming because he's a little bitch. I suppose he was surprised seeing the man get stabbed. Still, Aino was plenty surprised too, but all she did was gasp. Besides, Mara already saw this happen with Rando. God damn, how many times do you intend to be shocked by the same thing? Anyhow, while everyone is busy screaming and being surprised, Lin pulls Mara away with him. Turns out Anon was wrong and Lin is exactly that stupid. The other priests had every intention of following Lin and Marrow in case they run. But when push came to shove, they chickened out. None of them fancied the possibility of getting new eye piercings. And all of them were suddenly extremely worried over their wounded one. Yup. No time to chase. The sacrifice that's going to save our village. This random guy we're not even friends with. Is their highest priest now? Well, maybe some of them were friends, but let's not fuss over the details. Lin Marrow gets away with no further incident. Are we safe? Are for now probably, but I'm sure they'll send someone after us. My guess would be hunters. They know how to move around here. So Maro, we need keep going until we're outside the the Valetheon's influence. Huh. There are uh, there aren't any strong monsters this close to the village thanks to the Valetheon. That means as long as we are here, people will surely come after us. But I doubt they chase us to where uh, there are monsters. Great. They catch their breath for a moment, then continue on. Meanwhile, Anon's party has retreated back to the temple. The injured one is being treated, his equal amount of pain as Anon is in distress. I can't believe this. Lin, of all people, 
That hypocrite. Son of a bitch. That fucking asshole. High Priest Anon, what should we do? I'm... I'm, I'm just... Has anyone seen Rando yet? I don't think so. Don't tell me he ran away too. Anna sits with her head in her hands. How do I break these news to Great Dibletheon? Still can't say that name correctly. Um, should I... Do you need me to come with you? Anna is tempted sharing the blame. Sounds good. No, no, I'll do it. Thanks, though. She smiles at the others and goes to the Delta. Hello, hello, I trust you're here to tell me the ritual is ready to start. Actually, I'm I'm about to... Mm -hmm. The ben ben Benevolent... The Devaletheon looks absolutely menacing. It takes every shred of courage Anon has left to tell Devaletheon what happened. I'll spare you from what went down afterwards. Anon lived to tell the tale, but it'll be years before she actually reads to tell it to anyone. And how lucky Devletian was to spare Anon's sorry soul. After all, from here on out, she is the only high priest available. Good for you, good for her. And for some others. Lin, hmm? What will happen to the village now? Don't give a fuck. I won't worry over that tomorrow. How can I not? The village is pretty sturdy, I can take... You can take a float or two. Huh? What? Good Lin... God, Lin, no. I'm talking about the people. Oh. Oh, indeed, you basket case. Is everyone going to starve to death because of me? Uh, <laughs> the villagers too... We'll be fine. They will? Yes, the Blethion will... Is very kind. I can't believe you're still saying that. But it is. This isn't the first time we failed to deliver the sacrifice. There was this girl who killed herself before we could sacrifice her. Oh, but do you know what the Blethion uh, But do you know what? The Blethion forgave us. Instead of the girl, we sacrificed her whole family. Oh, fuck, stickles. Lin fully intended that to make moral feel better. It didn't though. It doesn't make me feel better either. Don't worry, the ritual will be held with or without you. The Blethian will keep everyone safe and sound. Just as I will keep you. Mara found that completely unnecessary parallel to draw. So that's what happened to Lin and Mara. They chose to leave behind the nameless village and journeyed from the middle of nowhere to edge of somewhere. Lin is certain there exist other villages. Mario just follows, he has no idea what else to do. So perhaps he this is happy ending for them? But what about poor Divletheon? He was heartbroken, poor thing. How could Lin do that? Divletheon had so much faith in him, even gave him the means to escape, trust he wouldn't. But what do you know, humans are scum of the earth. After all, the love and care Divletheon gave had given Lin. This is the thanks he got? Divletheon was absolutely devastated. We well, took mother, you took brother, mm, so what do you expect? You wouldn't let this one slide. You just watch your back, Lin. One of these days you will get what coming to, what's coming to you. But until then, enjoy your delights of living on, on the run. And that's it. That's the story. Surely there was some grand adventure to follow. But I'm not going to tell you now. So settle for this load of bullshit. Everyone live happily ever after. Haha. <laughs> The end. That's not the ending I expected. The first ending was uh, kind of better. Oh well, it's just version one, apparently. Anyway, thank you for watching. This was the end of the Relethion. Uh, it was interesting, wasn't that?
And if you want to play it yourself, you can find the game on itchy.io website. You can download uh, for a small for a small donation. You can just download it and play it. So it's your pick. Anyway, stay safe. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.